Uh, I'm going to present some of our findings from uh, research done on an interesting set of data uh, done by our research team. And, um, well, the, uh, there are a number of research, uh, I would say, questions uh, in this study. First of all, uh, we would like to look at uh, whether there are any evidence that argumentative discourse is associated with, um, well, so-called higher quality uh, discourse or knowledge building outcomes. And at the same time, uh, we would also like to find is there any, uh, any evidence that uh, argumentative discourse is contributing to sustaining, sustainable or more deepening uh, CSCL discourse. And uh, at the same time, there's also one research question uh, all related to the uh, analysis tool, uh, which is, uh, is it possible for machine encoding of discourse markers, say like argumentative markers, uh, be useful um, to analyze CSCL or knowledge building discourse? Okay, because uh, every time when we, we when say for example, uh, Chris, um, analysis or analysis done by uh, our team, we have to look manually for many, many uh, data entries. So we are looking for um, machine encoding uh, of the discourse. Is it possible? And uh, there are a number of indicators that we, are, we have looked at uh, in this research. For example, uh, first of all, the argumentative markers, okay, whether there are any, uh, any argumentative markers used or the number of argumentative markers used. Uh, at the same time, we'll use the uh, ATK Inquiry Index. ATK Inquiry Index is uh, a statistical measure of the uh, participation of the students or the, or the participants in the Knowledge Forum. I'll introduce uh, how we calculate these indices uh, later on. And uh, we use these two indicators okay, to see whether there are any uh, cross tab uh, between these two indication, indicators and also we look at uh, the appearance uh, of argumentative markers and scaffolds in uh, FRAC sequences. Okay, first of all let me uh, tell you uh, more about the discourse or the, or the data that we have analyzed. Uh, in this uh, set of data there are uh, two phases, okay, two phases of discussion on the topic of energy, okay, first phase on energy, uh, and the, the second phase is on global warming, okay, and from the uh, first phase, uh, the teacher and also the students together, they uh, pick up some seed notes from the first phase in order to kickstart the second phase, so it's a uh, kind of continuous uh, discussion. And uh, there are two schools, two local uh, Hong Kong schools involved in this study. The first school is um, School A, okay, they have uh, 43 students in which uh, 40 of them participated, they are in grade 9. And uh, the second school, School B, joined into the discussion in phase 2 uh, to join the uh, discussion uh, of global warming and they, have, uh, and they are from grade 7. And but I, what I've introduced, the eight, we have used the AT, ATK KB Inquiry Index. Okay, we have computed the, this index from a number of uh, participatory statistics. For example, uh, the number of notes each student has created, uh, the percentage of notes <coughs> that they have read in the discourse or the discussion uh, view. Uh, the third one is the number of scaffolds they have used, scaffold supports they have used. And uh, the last one is uh, number of notes revised that uh, they have, for example, they have put something on the forum first and then later on they think, oh, uh, I have something to uh, revise. So the platform or the, platform or the, or the uh, analysis tool can track how many times they have revised their notes. So this kind, so this ATK KB and uh, index the inquiry index is not just on, is not focusing on the quality, but on the quantity of quantity of participation uh, from a number of uh, perspectives. And for the argumentative markers, we have used when Fox those uh, two thousand uh, argumentative mark set of argumentative markers because um, uh, from the literature we found we have uh, found that 
Um, are the managers' acts tend to contribute to confronting cognitions between uh, students or participants, uh, where, where inadequate reasoning could be exposed and leading, possibly leading to deeper understanding among the participants. And uh, this is the set of argumentative markers that we have uh, looked at uh, in the discourse. Uh, there are quite a number of categories. For example, the reason uh, we have looked for uh, words like because or since, uh, and there are some examples that, uh, to illustrate uh, the use of these words. And you can see that there are uh, categories of reason, condition, sequence, uh, contrast. Okay, so uh, there are quite a number of different categories. And then this is something interesting. Okay, uh, on the vertical column, you can see that it is uh, the number of argumented <coughs> markers used by uh, each of the students. Okay. Each dot or each square on this plot is one student, and uh, the horizontal axis is about uh, the ATK scores, uh, about their participation. You can see that there is a um, general trend, okay, general slope, um, which indicates that um, the higher, in terms of participation among the students, uh, or for each student, the higher the higher number of argumentative markers used by them. Okay, this is the first uh, phase one of this uh, discussion, which is uh, school A, school A only. So there's only one class of students. Uh, okay, keep in mind it's the uh, general trend. And in phase two, okay, in phase two similar trends appear uh, uh, in the discourse that you can see that um, uh, the, the higher they, the higher level of participation uh, demonstrated by a student, the higher number of uh, argumentative markers used in their own uh, postings. And one thing that really interesting is uh, for school B, that you can see that one particular student, okay, one particular student that um, outperforms the rest of the class. Okay, uh, actually this student has uh, is the most active student in the discourse, and also uh, these students use a uh, quite large number of these argumentative markers in the uh, phase two discussion. <coughs> so, yeah. Well, this is uh, what we are thinking. Uh, well, okay, so there's, there's a general trend, higher, higher level of participation and higher uh, level use of uh, argumentative markers. But the question we are uh, puzzling or, or, or trying to answer is, well, both teachers are committed, okay, and encouraging, they are both encouraging and supporting teachers, okay. Uh, so how could these uh, things happen, or what can they do to further assist those students who are not the top ones? Or you can see there are lots of uh, students scattering around here. So we are, we, are, we are trying to look, trying to answer this question. How can teachers facilitate students? And 